Hi guys, this is Big Fear from Big Fear TV. Once again, I'm back to another video. This time, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. Now, this is something that little or no one is talking about it. And man, it's, it has getting so much better that I decided that, hey, I'm going to make a separate video about it. The Samsung Galaxy wearable app is something that you can use with almost all Samsung accessories, like the smartwatches, the headphones, the earphones, the Uflex, everything thing made by Samsung accessories can be used on this Galaxy wearable app. So I decided that, hey, we're going to talk about it in this video. And there are so many things that we're going to talk about it. So stay tuned to the end of the video because this Galaxy wearable app is really good and has getting so much better. So let's get that right into the video. Let's start by talking about what the Galaxy wearable app can be used for. You get into Samsung applications and is it right here? the Galaxy wearable app, type on it. You can use this application for everything. I mean, all accessories that Samsung made. Like, for example, when you tap on these three lines right here, you tap on it, you got things like, as you can see right now, this is connected to my Gear S3, my Gear Icon X, and the Galaxy Board. Now, you can add more devices. You tap on Add New. There are things like which you can add, the Galaxy Watch Active, the Galaxy Fit, the Galaxy Buds, the Galaxy Watch, the Gear Spot, the Gear uh, Fit 2, the Gear Icon X, and the Gear S3. So all these different accessories can be added onto the Galaxy wearable app. And when you got things added onto it, for example, right now, this is my Gear S3. These are the things that you can do on. You can see, for example, about watch, the battery percentage, the storage, and the RAM. And when you scroll down, you can get into the Galaxy Store where you can download all different types of watch faces, uh, applications for the Gear S3 or the Galaxy Watch. You can download a bunch of stuff on it. You can get access to Samsung Health. The smart thing, this is a very good uh, application, the smart thing, which you can use to connect your TV, the refrigerators, the air conditioner. I use this stuff a lot. The smart thing is very good. Now, you can also access the notifications. These are the notifications that you want to receive on your smartwatch or the gear uh, or the, the headphones. For example, right here, you can show only why wearing the watch. That means when you're wearing the watch, that's the only time you can see notifications. Or you can mute connected phones. So if, for example, my Gear S3 is connected to my smartphone, I can mute notification on my smartphone and receive it only on my watch. You can auto show details. So you can show the details of all notifications that appeared on your smartwatch. So for example, if you got a notification, everything appears on the watch. You can read it from the watch without even touching the phone. Notification indicator. So for example, if you have a notification, there's going to be a little dot on the screen of the watch, letting you know that there is a notification on read notification. Then there's also Turn on screen. If, for example, you receive a notification, you want the screen of your smartwatch to turn on, you act activate it right there. You can show notification why the phone or why you're using the phone. That's another good one. So, for example, if you right now I'm holding my phone, if I have a notification, I'm still going to read it on my watch and on the phone. And the last one is smart relay. That means pick up your phone to open application automatically on your watch. This is a good one. So for example, if for example my phone is lying on the table, I pick it up with a notification and automatically the watch reads the notification. So those are the things you can do on the Galaxy wearable app. Then when we scroll down again, the different applications, these are all the apps I have on my Gear S3. Uh, when we tap on it, as you can see right here, these are all the different apps like, uh, let's start from the first one. So, as you can see, these are all the apps that I have on my Gear S3 right here. These are all of them. Messages, Reminder, uh, Samsung Health, Galaxy Store. Everything is right here on the Galaxy wearable app. And from here, you can reorder everything. You tap on this three dot right here. You can reorder. So, for example, you tap on reorder. So, you can change the position of each notification. For example, I want contact to be on the first. I drag it up right here drop it right there or I want let's say settings to go on the first right there you drop it right there settings is right on the top 
And so this is for the first page. This is the second page. As you can see right here, page two. So you can reorder, for example. And when I get into my gears three, this is the first page. Then when I scroll right up the second page and the third page. So that is it. And so when you scroll down right this, you can even reorder the third page. For example, I want Strava, Strava to be on the first, drag it right up, put it right there. Then I want Smart Thing to be on the second, drag it right there. So you can reorder all the different applications on your watch right here. When you're done, you tap right here. And so if I go to the third page on my Gears 3, as you can see, Strava is now on the first. Right there, Strava is on the first. So, and the next thing you can do is when you get down to the widgets, you can also change the widget of your smartwatch on the gears uh, on the smart uh, the, the Galaxy wearable app. So, for example, right here, and you can also delete them. You simply tap on this little line right here. You can delete any widget that you don't want it, and you can also change the reorder, the position of it. If, for example, I want, uh, let's say, uh, Samsung Health to be on the second place, I touch it right here, drag it right up, right up. As you can see, it's going up, and so music will be on the first. Samsung Health a second and if I want for example uh, let's say the calendar or you can add yeah these are the different widgets that you can add on to it so you can add all the different widgets and when you're finished you save now when we get into the different widget on my gears 3 screw at this music is first Samsung Health is second so that's it. This is really good. So you can do everything on the Galaxy Wearable app without even touching your, your smartwatch. The next thing you can see is sound and vibration. So these are all the sounds that you have on your Galaxy or your, your Galaxy Watch or your Gear 3. For example, the sound that I'm using right now is street light. Street light. So you can choose it from there. And you can also choose the, the ringtone vibration to be basic or cricket. You see? It's vibrating on the watch, not on my smartphone. So if, for example, I change, for example, to uh, zig zig zig, it's vibrating on the watch, as you can hear. On the watch, not on the phone. So this is good. Now, there are also things that you can change, for example, uh, the notification sound, which the one I'm using right now is music box, just like that. And you can also change the notification vibration to knock, or brief, or basic, or pulse, or zig zig. That's it. And the next thing you can change is the display things on the display for example the brightness so if for example just look at my watch right there let me increase the brightness or decrease the brightness as you can see look at you see I increase the brightness to maximum that's it I don't know if you guys can see it okay so let me change it to, to zero look at the watch and put on max that's it right there so you can control everything of your smartwatches or the headphones through the Galaxy Wearable app. You can also change the background colors from here, right here. So, that's a display. Then we can move down to advance, like wake up gesture, touch wake up, uh, bezel wake up, touch sensitivity. You can change almost everything here. And you can also customize the theater mode or the good night mode. If for example, I want to set my watch on a good night mode, I'll simply get into my Galaxy Wearable app, tap on it. And as you can see right here, there's the icon here. Good night mode is right appeared on, you see right here? You can see there's a little icon right on the top of my Gears 3 to show that the good night mode is turned on. You can easily turn it off and it disappears. And that's for the good night mode. Quick settings. You can also edit the quick settings. The quick settings are 
all the little icons that you can drag from the top to the bottom. These are the quick settings. So you can change all this. You can reorder uh, re everything. And, and you can add more onto it. So that's for... Then, when you're finished, you hit on save. The next thing we can do is add content to the watch. Now, this is another good thing. From the Galaxy Wearable app, you can add more content in your Gear 3 or your Galaxy Watch or the Gear Fit or the Galaxy Watch Active. You simply get into add content to the watch. For example, add tracks. You can add music, pictures, images, and send SOS requests. So you can send an SOS request. If, for example, I turn it on, you're going to look for... A recipient so who is going to receive the SOS if for example you're in uh, in an accident a distress an injury who are you gonna send the SOS to and another thing we can do is find my watch you can find the watch from your gear from your galaxy wearable app that's it right there and stop another thing we can do is account and backup you can back up everything from the watch on the, the gear or the Galaxy wearable app, you can synchronize phone settings with the watch, accessibility, like screen, reorder, uh, visibility enhancement, hearing enhancement, and advanced settings. You can do everything on about the watch, about Galaxy wearable. And now when you get into the middle, right in the middle right here, watch faces. So as you can see, I can choose a watch face for my uh, gear S3 without even touching the watch for for example, let's tap on this one, which is yellow and Bam, that's it. You get a new one without even touching the watch and this is good for example because I don't like to smudge my, my watch I like my watch to always look clean with no smudges on it So I don't like to touch it so too much with this galaxy wearable app I can do everything on it so I can for example choose any watch face I want just mm, tap on this one and There we go and if I want this one, tap on it. And there we go. If I want the watch faces that comes with the watch, and bam, that is it. And you can customize it right here. You can change the color, everything from here. You save, and bam, that's it. So these are all the different watch faces. Then you can also go to the last one, discover. So you can discover new watch faces that you can download. There are tons, thousands of new watch faces that you can download on the, the Galaxy Store or the Galaxy Wearable app. Now let's try out the next accessory, which is the Gear Icon X. I just simply tap on the three lines right here. Then there we go. I tap on the Gear Icon X. And there we go. So now we are in the Gear Icon X. And these are the different things you can do on the Galaxy Wearable app. For example, you can increase the volume of the earbuds right here, right from the Galaxy Wearable app. You can change the equalizer. Like, for example, I like to use a, a, a treble boost. I like it more than dynamic, but dynamic also is good. And you can also change the ambient sound. You can turn on the ambient sound and you can reduce the volume. And another thing you can do is music on the Gear Icon X. You can transfer music into the Gear Icon X from the Galaxy Wearable app, like right here. So right now, these are the music I have on my uh, Galaxy Wearable app. But you can add more. For example, you tap on Art right here. So these are all the music I have on my phone. You can add them onto the Gear Icon X. And another thing you can do is you can control or you can open up the Samsung Health right from the Galaxy Wearable app. You tap on it right here and bam, that's it. There we go. So this is the Samsung Health right from the Galaxy Wearable app. Now, the next thing is it's, uh, the earbud. You can tap on it, each an ear earbud right here, and you get the tips on how to control it. The Galaxy Bud is the same thing. My Galaxy Bud is right over there. I don't want to get it right now. But the Gear Icon X, and a lot of people have been asking me which one is better, the Gear Icon X or the Galaxy Buds. The Galaxy Buds, uh, let me just tell you guys, let me be honest with y'all. The Galaxy Bud is good. It's a great ear, uh, earbud, but the issue is that it's too small for me. I just wish Samsung made it the same size with the Galaxy Icon or the Gear Icon X. 
I like the size of the gear icon X better than that of the Galaxy Bot, so I prefer to use this more often than the gear, the Galaxy Bot. It's too small. So now when you tap on each earbud just like this, it gives you all the different tips on how to control it. And on the top right here, there is a settings. Okay, we've got music, notifications. You can uh, allow the earbud to read all your notifications. Like right here, read out while using the phone. So you can hear the notification in your ear while you're using the phone. But normally I put it on off. I don't like to use it. When I have my phone on my hand, I don't want to be hearing a lot of uh, the voice on my ear. And exercises, find my gear. Like if I tap on this right here. That's it. You hear the sound very loud, so loud. So from the Galaxy Wearable app, you can find your earbuds. And the next thing is the touch part. You can control or learn how to or customize the touch part for everything you want. And the next is read out menu options. That's it right there. So you can also reorder the different uh, options or the different settings on the, ge the gear icon X. For example, lock touch part, you tap and hold, which is the first. So if, for example, I want, uh, let's say ambient sound to be on the second, I tap and drag it right here. So now on my gear icon, uh, gear icon X, the ambient sound is on the second. So if I tap and hold, the first that's going to read is lock touch part. The second is ambient sound. Third is Bixby voice. Fourth is start finish or finish workout. And the last is workout details. So you can reorder all those things. The voice guides language. So you can either change to German or Germany, uh, English, United States, Spanish, United States, French, France, Italian, Italy, Japanese, Japan, Korean, South Korea, Russian, Russia, Chinese, China. So you can change and choose whatever guide language you want. But I'm using English. And about gear, you can get all the different software updates the legal information, device name, reset gear. And the last one is about Samsung Gear app. So you can do virtually everything on the Galaxy Wearable app. So it has gotten so much better. Before it was no use because there was nothing on it. But after the update of the One UI, Samsung has done good job and great job by making this Galaxy Wearable app so much usable with almost all features that you can do on a smartwatch or on the earphone right on the galaxy wearable app so this is something that we gotta give samsung credit for it and you can add more as you can see right here the galaxy bot the gs3 the galaxy watch everything can be added onto the galaxy wearable app so samsung deserve a credit for this app it's really good and it has gotten so much better so that's all about this video Thank you for watching it. If you like it, you know what to do. Hit the, sub, the, the, the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more great videos on this channel. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.